All right, now we're gonna move on to all of this thing that's up here. So first, we're gonna remove this one. It goes from here all the way down and you can see the screws in there pretty easy. There they are. So there's, I think five. That's pretty simple. So I'm gonna get that one out next. There it is. So it actually had six screws and the very last one right here in the back, I had to get it out with a little short screwdriver, a little stubby. But look at the felts in that sucker. Beautiful, man, they look brand new. So that's gonna look real nice after I repolish it. But that's for another day. All right, so now Gotta follow the sequence. Actually, I could remove this from the inside, the interior trim, the one that goes all the way across. So I'll do that just to expose it a little bit more. But you just pull off this weather strip here. Just carefully, I used um, I used a pry tool for that. Got them all out, and then it'll expose the screws under here, and then you just work your way out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, as I've been doing, putting all my screws back so I won't lose them. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna remove this interior trim. So I got the interior trim out, it's right there. Um, what I wanted to show you was the weather strip. Right here, it just pops right off. This weather strip is really nice. Look at how, um, how it used to pop in. It had metal tabs versus, I have all new weather strip for this car. And uh, these tabs on the new weather strip, even though they're made in USA, they're they're just some little plastic, like push in, push in tabs, with like little ribs on them. I, I like this style. That's really nice. It's obviously discontinued, but man, this is some good stuff. So at the end of this weather strip, right here at, at the door, there's two screws. So there's one here and one here, and that'll completely remove that. Now, what I wanted to show you, this interior piece has one screw here, two up here, but once you get those out, that sucker ain't budging. That's because it's got some screws here on the inside, right there. And with the weather strip in the way, you would never see that. And if you didn't know this car, you, you would try to pry this thing out not knowing there's a screw here under the weather strip and, and you would mangle this thing. So just be careful when you're doing that. So I'm gonna get this one out. I'm gonna remove this weather strip, them two screws. Then we can get this piece here, right there. This one overlaps this belt trim that goes around the glass, the front glass. After we get this one out, then, then it starts to get fun. Uh, but first, let me uh, let me keep with the sequence. I got the weather strip out. Two more screws down there. And then I got some screws up in here. And then this piece will come out. It goes from here to right there. And this, this is the one that holds the weather strip. So let me get that out. So I got the screws out for this one. And now we got one, two. These are real tiny. Three four, five, five screws holding on this little piece here. So, I mean, a lot of this stuff was just over-engineered, but I mean, that could be why these cars last so long. So now I'm gonna take this piece off. So both of them will come off together. So I got this piece off. All it was was just the screws all along right here. See, I put them all back. So that was overlapping this, and it was overlapping this right here. So now we gotta get the drip rail out. This one, there's no screws in there at all for the drip rail. This one has to come out first before this one, because this one is jammed in there, and then the drip rail stainless is snapped in and it's holding pressure on this one. There's no screws on this one either. It's just in the channel and this one 
is holding it in just by pressure. So in order to get this trim out, you gotta start here and just pry it back slowly, slowly, slowly until you work your way all the way back until about right here, that stainless on the end is gonna be sticking out. It'll be sticking straight out. And you gotta be careful not to put no pressure on it because you're gonna bend it. You don't wanna bend it. It's gonna look bent, but it'll go back to shape as long as you don't force bend it. So you just pry it out, pry it out slowly all the way back. When you get to about right here, that sucker's sticking all the way out. Right here, it starts getting real loose. And then, and then it just comes right out. There's no screws on it. After that, this one right here, you just gotta push it up a little bit. As you can see it's inside, inside the drip row right here. See that? It's got a little lip right here. You can just pry it up slowly, very slowly, and it'll start coming up all the way back. No screws either. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start on the drip row right now. I'm just gonna use a tiny little screwdriver. And if you notice in here, there's a little channel. So this drip rail is inside that channel. So whenever it comes time to paint this car or, or you're doing any kind of epoxy work, you don't want to you don't want to have a lot of buildup here. So this you got to do it real, real slow, real careful. I thought I can do it holding the camera, but I need to focus and use um, both of my hands. So I'm gonna put the camera down. I'm gonna get it about halfway and I'll bring y'all back. What I mean, look how twisted that sucker is. It's all the way twisted. It's flat now on top. So at this point, you start making life decisions. You start wondering why you even like doing this. Cause it seems impossible to put back, but I promise you just take your time, work your way back. It gets easy about, about right here. Just work it real slow, real slow, and it'll pop right out. Look at that. So at this point, you just want to just keep working real slow. Don't bend it. You can kind of wiggle it and then you, you can hear like, uh, not like snapping, but like little cracking where it's coming loose. So don't let that sound get you nervous because it does sound like something's breaking, almost like glass cracking. So just keep working your way down. See, it went right back to shape. There it is. So I'm gonna set this down and now this one, if you look closely here on the edges, you see it's got little, it's almost like a tab, but this whole piece is inside of the channel, the whole piece. You'll see it when I take it out. But if you look right here, there's a little tab here. That's a pretty long tab. That one goes from here all the way to, all the way through actually. So let's see these little tabs. And if you, if you use a screwdriver real slow, you can hear that stuff. Just very, very slow. You can put it on each one and work your way up, or you can start from the top, but just don't, don't put enough force to where you're gonna bend it. You see, if it doesn't come loose right away, then just back off. Because look, you can do it from up here. But that was a lot easier, look. That's almost no force. Easy, easy. See that? It's coming up pretty easy. Now this is a pretty sophisticated piece. It'll keep your drip, drip rails from, from rusting or anything like that. I'm sure it's gonna have a little surface rust like this on the bottom, but I mean, this is stainless steel. So that water's just gonna roll right off of it. This is never gonna rust. So, I need to put this camera down so I can get this trim out. But what we just did here, just work your way real slow all the way back. There it is. So here are the little tabs I was talking about. Right here. Easy, came out really easy. So it, if you noticed before, this trim was overlapping this one about halfway. So now we can get to the glass. Um, I need to put up all these stainless pieces. I made a little special place for them, so I don't want to misplace them or they won't get damaged. But anyway, so this trim here, it has two clips, one here, one here. They're pressing clips, 
and then on the inside of the end of this little dog leg there's a there's a nut on the inside uh, uh let me see it was a 532nd i think i need to double check the size it was really tiny let me see if we can get it from in here yeah so this is it right here not this one that's for the the, the trim but this one so that needs to come out i had already loosened it i didn't take it out because i wanted to show it to you guys but we need to loosen that and um since we're taking the glass out um here's the here's the nut it's tiny i need to double check the size on it uh but since we're taking the glass out we can actually um this 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 piece here goes under the glass so we can kind of just pry it out and it'll pop right out so now that we got this corner out we can do that and then we can we can do the same thing with the top one we don't have to go and uh pick at the clips with a special tool because the glass is coming out so after i get this out i'm going to cut this rubber here and we should be able to pop the glass up a little bit and then we can just slide the glass back and not mess with those clips up top look how long that that screw is holding that on that clip this is where the nut was on the inside this one's really long really awkward uh little clip i've never seen one of these before but if you notice right here this is tucked up under the weather strip so that's what i'm saying like you don't have to mess you don't have to mess like with uh getting the clips loose because it's just tucked up under there like that and you can just kind of roll it out very carefully and uh it, it'll come out you just got to work it i got the other one out the same way